because this is a privilege. It's the greatest job in the world. You get to go out and play a game. If you can't care enough to go out there and give everything you've got and try your hardest, that's bullshit. J.J. Watt, who is best known as a star defensive end for the Houston Texans in the NFL, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate in Houston, Texas, including a modest home in Perlin, Texas, which he listed for only $465,000. While some athletes love the offseason to kick back, relax, and for partying, during Watt's offseason, he can be found at a new log cabin in the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin, which he claims to give him time to focus on his training with nothing to distract you up there. His description of his new offseason home is literally just an empty space in a log cabin and snow. <laughs> we'll take a look at J.J. Watt's humble house he stayed at even after signing a whopping $100 million contract extension with the Texans. A modest home that features 4,000 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, plus his discreet log cabin in Wisconsin, built as his training grounds. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. So here's some of the records that have been set since the 50s and earlier. I think it's one of those things that when I'm done with my career and I'm kind of sitting on a porch back in Wisconsin drinking a beer, I'll think about it. Yeah, right. But for right now, you know, there's still so much left that I'd like to accomplish. JJ Watt has a net worth of $27.9 million after he decided to remain in Houston when he signed a six-year, $100 million extension in 2014 with the Houston Texans. At the time of the signing, the deal was the second biggest for a defensive player in league history. I was like, hey, man, I just signed this contract. And he was like, no way. I was like, yeah, it's $100 million. And he goes, what are you going to do? I said, I don't know what I'm going to do. So he goes, well, Google it. He received $30.9 million at signing, and he was to receive $21 million at the start of the 2016 season. That's a front-loaded contract. Watt is one of the NFL's most marketable players. His $7 million earnings off the field is on par with the elite quarterbacks. But what does it mean for you to be among these men? It's, it's an incredible honor. I mean, there's so many great guys across the league doing so many great things. No other defensive player pulls in more than $2 million from endorsements. Watt's sponsorship partners include American Family Insurance, NRG, Reebok, Gatorade, HEB, Ford, and Verizon. His lucrative career career from salary earnings and endorsements are well earned. Watt has gone on to appear on the first team all pro five times. He has made five Pro Bowl appearances, is a three-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year, and a two-time NFL sack leader. While quarterbacks normally get the spotlight, Watt proves that defensive players can also get a little bit of that endorsement money. Probably one of the most humble attributes about J.J. Watt is that he doesn't flash his glamorous life. I've done everything to accomplish my goals. This is what I committed to doing. This is the life that I chose. So I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, if I could do it all over again, I would do it differently because because I wouldn't. In fact, until recently, he lived at a modest home in Perlin, Texas, which he put on the market for $400,000. Watt also stays focused during his off seasons, spending a bulk of his time in his log cabin in Wisconsin. Hey guys, it's your boy Marlon Palmer, and today we're gonna taking a look at JJ Watt's house here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you guys watching are not subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. Now we've previously reported on Tiger Woods and Keith Urban, so if you guys would like to check out those homes, please do so. If you guys like these videos, ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at that do McFly so we can chat some more and let us know whose house tour to do next in the comments down below. Let's get into the video. During Watt's rookie season in 2011 for the Houston Texans, he snagged himself the most modest of homes. This traditional style home was built in 2005 and he eventually put it on the market for $399,000. Not only did the home sell for cheap, but the property boasted terrific waterfront views of Brazoria country. The two-story, four-bedroom, three-bathroom home measured in at 4,169 square feet and sits on a 10,800 square foot lot. The entrance of the home features a grand entrance hall with large and airy windows that give a roomy ambiance. A balcony overlooks the hall and directly underneath lies an elegant wet bar perfect for those who fancy a Chardonnay. The two-story family room has a fireplace and specialty molding along with a cozy formal dining area and spacious kitchen that features marble countertops and oak wood cabinets. The room also features a double oven, electric oven, an elegant perfectly centered island and more oversized windows to deliver a bright setting. This kitchen looks like the perfect place for JJ to scarf down his post-game meals. JJ clearly likes to work hard and play hard as the home features a study library room probably to study that game day footage. JJ also likes to spend a lot of time in the gym so it shouldn't come as a surprise that he had his own gym. However, the dig gives off some luxury and fun as guests can stay cozy as the house features a gas log fireplace. Did I mention that there's a master suite located on the main floor? Not to mention the abode comes complete with his very own games room. Good to know JJ knows how to kick back and relax. After delivering all those hard hits, JJ can relax in the large bathrooms that are decked out with bright and white tiles that give an airy vibe and comes complete with double sinks, primary bath, and separate shower and whirlpool tub. I mean, seriously, your body needs to recover after being the sack king. Probably the 
most luxurious features are found outside as the property boasts its very own saltwater pool, patio with pergola and outdoor kitchen, saltwater pool with outdoor kitchen. We're guessing JJ has hosted a few functions out there. Now, originally hailing from Wakusha, Wisconsin, JJ went back to his roots and purchased a log cabin located in the middle of nowhere. Well, technically not in the middle of nowhere, but JJ claims the closest spot to Watt's house is a Starbucks 2.5 miles from his home. Watt explains that he made the purchase so that the only thing he had to focus on is training and there's nothing to distract him up there. It worked so hard to get here, you want to take a look around and realize how special it is. Um, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to creating the best athlete I can. While most of us think this is the dream to live out in a cabin, Watt described the property as an empty space in a log cabin and snow. The property was purchased for $800,000 and features 4,500 square foot of land. The log cabin even boasts an elevator and over 35 acres of land. The front of the property boasts spectacular views as it features a beautiful red log cabin surrounded by mature landscape trimmings and an abundance of enormous trees. The kitchen gives a whole new meaning to rustic style as it features all wooden cabinets, countertops, and furnishings. A large window over overlooking the beautiful Wisconsin landscape in the kitchen gives the room a bright light. However, what takes the cake in this kitchen is the oak wood countertop comes complete with a flat screen television and its very own draught tap. Can you imagine getting away from it all by sipping a few pops out in the cabin? The living room is quite possibly the most relaxing room in the house as it features two oversized windows overlooking the property, a number of large furnishings, elegant paintings, and a large cozy fireplace along with a massive grandfather clock. JJ also likes to keep busy out in Wisconsin with his spacious country style style office and comes complete with a massive massive wooden cabinet, all wooden furnishings, and sacred jerseys of the game's greats hanging throughout. Two more rooms JJ can relax in are his master suite bedroom and an additional living space which features its own wood stove. The former features more wooden furnishings, if you can believe that, a smaller window just above his master bed fit for a king, and a carpet featuring a rug with a bear. The second living area features comfortable leather furnishings, a flat screen TV, wooden stove, and bear lamp with huge teddy bear. JJ is really going on with this bear theme, isn't he? All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a look at JJ Watt's home in that massive log cabin in Wisconsin with his very own draught tap. After seeing that fancy little abode he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Watt? Personally, I know JJ says he likes to train out in Wisconsin, but I would love to party out there in Wisconsin. Out of Watt's features, which ones were your fave? You guys can even go ahead, rate them in the comments down below. Hit me up on Instagram if you need any more questions and put whose house tour you wanna see next in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time.